Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. So, I am going to show with you a local auction house hall. In this view, it is an auction house about 25 miles away from me. Not my local like, auction house, it's a couple miles away from me. But my super local auction house, so auction house is about 25 miles away from me. I usually don't buy a lot in there. Um, but I found something that I can make, can flip for a profit on eBay. And then I have a little local thrift store haul. I listed a couple things from the haul already that I picked up. But I'm going to share with you a couple of the glasses I enlisted tonight from that from that haul. And tell you a couple of the things I already listed. And how much I paid for them. And then how much I paid for the thrift store stuff. Or from the um, auction stuff, excuse me. And I did get a bonus thing from that chance For free. That's right, for free. I don't know why. But, I'll tell you about it, and I, cause I already let, I'm going to share with you what it is. So here, here we go, so first I'm going to share with you the thrift store haul. So, I got a new sealed board game, it's called Fantastic Four vs. Dr. Doom. That game is not worth much. I paid, I thought it might be worth a little more, maybe $9.99 push up Because it's easy to ship, and easy to pack, easy to list, and those are brand new sealed. I paid um six to sixty nine. I paid three for net for discount, so fifty percent off. It's only worth about five for net push and so for brick body even. And then I paid can ink. I have that listed for nine free shipping. Some of those for more, some of those for less. But if I can get nine free ship eventually sometime for it, that'd be awesome. Nice support. It'd be nice. Um, about eight nine free ship. So and I paid it after discount. I paid a dollar for it. So that was nice, you know. <laughs> it's Keenan 6 ink black. This did look expired, but it might be expired. But I put that in the listing. <laughs> I didn't know if it was expired or not. And there's some other inks there, but I don't know if they're expired or not. But, because my local thrift store is moving across town, they might dumpster some stuff or give some stuff away for free in the old thrift store. So, their new thrift store, they might, you know, like really good sales. So if I, if I can... I'm gonna see if I can get like really, really sweet deals and stuff, you know, the foot for a prop, you know, you know. And then I found another 1919 America's original brewery made 1919 classic American draft group beer. This, uh, the soul in these are ready for 1120 plus I'm gonna see if the same person will buy this for me, or I'm gonna um most at 14 and again see if someone else will buy it for me. No, that one. Then I have a, another Rainforest Cafe Mall in our class. The first doesn't sleep yet, but that is how I watch it, so I feel confident that, you know, maybe I'll sell. If, even if I can cross this to Mercari, because I have 18 listings left, because I crossed this to my 18, 18 listings, because this is on my eBay ends to Mercari. You know, so. And not uh, parts, you know. Then I paid seventy five cents for Rainforest Cafe, forty nine cents for the um nineteen nineteen. That was dollar forty nine, then fifty percent for Rainforest Cafe, so seventy five cents. And then forty nine cents for the um nineteen nineteen, which is ninety cents for the discount. And then I got a NX Fast Shaker Shoot Orlando DVD to watch. I was not very interested in it. It was kind of just more like kind of racing, but it's like eh, if boring. Early morning, um, so I just said to list that on eBay and I keep it because it wasn't interesting. And yeah, that video DVD is worth about 49 pre ship, so I'll pick the, I'll make a few, my money back on it at least. <coughs> so, hopefully. And then I have some beer steins I picked up. There's two lots of beer steins I picked, picked up one of them. First one, there's an old style and with eight old stuff and one coarse beer stains. That's why I picked up. And then there was one with seven Miller beer stains and two Budweiser beer stains. And, you know, um, because I sold beer stains in the past, Budweiser's, one for 4 and one for 9 and one for 14 and they're all common ones, more common beer stains. But these are pretty com more common beer stains. But some of these I haven't really, it's hard to find sold comps and you don't find like one, two sold comps. And so, but they're lower end beer scenes, but still, 
I think these might have been like giveaways in the past. You mail in something, you mail in or something for them. You know? Yeah, like send them a check or something, and they'll send you up your thing, or, you know, or um, you mail in like something, and it's like a free promote, free prize you win or something like that. You know, you do this or that or something like that, or the liquor stores might give away something, you know, these in the past, they might have. But, yeah, so. I'm sure if you would have picked up. So this is a drink with oats, drink with style. Hellman's oats style. Pure drink oats style. This is the one with um, soy pure brew. And this is the one with um, wood on. This I seen sold for nine ninety five plus shipping. <coughs> I believe these will fit in a regional A unbox. I have a regional A in this video part from this one. Yeah, these will fit in a region A. All of them will fit in a region A, I believe so. Which will be nice. So, I can ship this in region A for $9.99 plus shipping on that. Um, and then I have a Broken Silence. Oh, let me sh This one is from 1902. I'm is Shrim, Shrimmer Tea? What's that? Shrimmer Tea? Stein, in Brazil. So, this is like a. These, I had, I think I had some of these in the Coors or the Budweiser things and stuff. So, those were. That's a good That's a good one right there. Here's an old style Winter Life. Winter Life. These broken things by Shrimp Anderson. This looks like a sea ink made in China. But these ones, some of these are made in Brazil. And these are really high quality things. This one, so for this one, so for eight nine nine plus shipping. And it's just a burn, you know, on the snowbank, as you can see right there. So, yeah. And then I have, I'm gonna say the best thing for last year. Oh, um, here. I picked up. You don't want to mess that. And then I have a old style. Um, lager. This is the guy. You know, with the, um, old, the, old style. Um, you're in the glass. And the, um, and the bottle. And then he has old school boots. It looks like from a knife from way back when. You know, there's the pineapples. And then the bottom. And this is old style on the side. And this. There's a little paint gloss on it, but it's still, it's, I, it's sold for 15 by the lid on it. So. I'm gonna see if I can get this for, um, see if I can get this for 10. I should. Should be get some of these ones, sold the lid for 8, 10. So I might take an offer on it, but if I can get it for what, it's up for 10 take offer. Then I need should be take offer. You know, and then this I have three of the, these. These are pure genuine old style. Reach for the best on the ones the sailboat on, and they like the rowboat. Someone couple in rowboats, and like an old pilgrim people and the leaves. Well, I have three of them. Let me see. Two more of them. These are from 1989. Gert G R Z in Germany. Those are going for about 99 plus shipping. And then I have a I L I K I L I L I K A Terrence. The Little Ohio. This is made by G Hill and Brew Company. That makes sense. This is one where like the pilgrims are saying what sign, you know. And one was working and the other three are just talking. And there's a couple that are working in the background you can see. And the buggy buggies around, you know, so mm. I think this is going for about seven seven I think this sold for seven twenty five plus shipping, but took off for 
I saw my list of Persimmon and take off and reach for the best music stuff. This is from 1988, so. This beer, Arson Spinner. Chloe. Ghosting, naturally. And then. I have. A Coors beer stain. It's called an Omnip from 1987. This is made in Brazil for CY Inc. This is Seasons of the Heart by George Kovach. And of course, we're coming in Bonkara. This is only worth, I was surprised by this. Coors one. That's only worth 5 9 Flash up and I was kind of surprised by that. Now, the Coors one is actually the low end one, but Old Stop Beer is not that popular anymore. And you know, these are probably, you know, worth a little more because people, either people don't want the, you know, they, they, they're not as popular beers being, so. Maybe that's for sold or something. Or hand or something, I don't know. Made or something, I don't know. Now this has one with a lid on. This is a lidded one. A lidded old style one. You can see. Um, this has old style lager. The slack old style was featured for this position. There's a period in 1940s. But was similar in some content to your drink. It's more colorful than the fact they're green And are only used in special presentations. This is, um, I don't know what else you should be just be in there. In the Kingdom of Thailand, this is a Thailand number from the tea sun. So the sermon teas, so that's what I picked up. I paid $12 plus buyer fee for it. In tech, so I paid, I would say roughly about $14. I paid for this, maybe a little more than 14 but it's a nice flip, you know. I figure if I can sell these for, and then I also got a free NASCAR. It came there's a NASCAR that sold that same one. This is the Antiques and Collectibles option, which is not all Antiques and Collectibles. They sell them that's like dressers, you know, like dressers and just regular bookshelves, you know, like a bookshelf, just regular old bookshelf, you know, or say like a dresser. It might not be like a vintage dresser, an antique dresser, a collectible dresser. It might be just a standard dresser, you know, about wood dresser. But, it, but, you know, or one table, or like a... Sometimes there's like couches or chairs on there. Or something like that. I might, you know, so... Or like collectible or Wii's on there, which is... You know, I mean, people like... I mean, video games are collectible, can be collectible, but... It's more of like a common type of houseware. Houseware, you know, so... It's kind of like a mismatch auction, like household items, you know, like common house items, like collectible beer stain items, like collectible diet mask items, like antiques, like vintage items, you know, so, like two. So, um, I paid 12 for this. So, I'm, so if I can make, you know, with all this after fees or anything, I can make about, um, with a NASCAR or thing, I can make about, um, $75. I'm going good. But the NASCAR, there was a NASCAR there. And, and then I look, there was some NASCARs there, some 164 skills, some 124 skills, like, like, and then they were, like, the C2 plastic ones. And then there was, and then, you know, and then there was this one, actual 18 skill, Dale Hart Jr., Number 31, I think it was like one where the hood opens, the trunk opens, and there's a couple things on the um, number open, there's little slots that open up. That so far, that one wasn't including the NASCAR lot. This is on top of the um, NASCAR, of the, um, this box probably, and the Borker just threw it in because they thought it went with um, beer stains, but it did not, you know. And it wasn't listed in the NASCAR lot. So they figured, well, first thing they give it with this slot, and they did. And I got good, it's number to one of 7,506, but the box is good. But I can put my trace off of 14.99 for the shipping. I'm gonna try to get, um, I'm gonna try to get about, um, I can probably, I might have to take that for that, try to get like 10 port, if I can get even 99 port, after offer and everything. 10 port, maybe get some offer with 10, see. You know, because the boxes be up, so. 
And then but the these ones, the shipping is gonna be high on this. So I might have to do UPS shipping. I'll probably do it where I do like flat shipping. Or do like nineteen ninety nine flat shipping. But 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 I'm gonna do it where um if I can um nineteen ninety flat shipping. But um I'm gonna do probably um you um steering shipping. And then I'll probably do um if the only time I'll ship um the same to um um like through the post office is if um um <coughs> I don't know if that's going um if it's cheaper to ship through the post office like in like a flat rate box or something like that. Like a medium flat rate or something like that. But or something like that or regional A. I don't think I'll fit a regional A but you know, like a A box or like a B box or something like that. Or um you know or that way but but yeah. Otherwise it's going UPS ground because it weighs almost four pounds and the box weighs like five, so I'm just going UPS ground, so so like I said, take care of it. I'm gonna these beers months. Let me get these photos listed for um tonight and list them tonight, so so like I said, take care.